So yeah, you guys can read the title and thumbnail. This video is gonna be my own thoughts on basically the whole Cetro versus Dave situation. I'll be giving my own opinions because I've interviewed both sides. I've talked to both sides a lot. So basically in this video, I'll be giving my own thoughts on who I think is in the right, who's in the wrong, basically all that. So the first thing that I wanna say, right? The very first thing is, yes, Cetro made the base of the game. He revived the game. Everybody knows that. Cetro revived the game. If without Cetro, the game would be completely dead because Dave and Chaotic left the game to die. That is what they are known for. They left the game completely when it died the first time and they weren't going to bring it back. Then Cetro came in. He didn't buy the game. He was just hired because Menma, his type soul copy, was getting more players in the official game, right? That is how that whole thing went down. He did not buy into the game. He just got hired, okay? So he did bring back the game, right? And then was fired for not doing enough work. If you actually go through the stuff that he did add, you can see he wasn't doing much, okay? Yes, he made some true bond ties. I think he told me that he made like four true bond ties, right? That's cool. But those aren't in the game yet, and more than likely those will be remodeled anyways, okay? So four true bond ties. That's cool. But other than that, actual content that we have seen... That is not just like four Hellverse, because keep in mind, Hellverse won't even drop for like another two to three months probably. So those four true bond ties that he made, quite frankly, in this whole situation, don't matter. So what he has made is the Medic weapon, the Tendo weapon, the Keto weapon, and Seven Thunder. I believe those four things are really all that he has made, okay? Like made himself. The only one that truly changed the player count for this game is the Tendo weapon, okay? The Keto weapon made the game lose players because nobody wanted to fight against it. The Medic weapon nobody cared about, and Seven's Thunder nobody cared about. So you have one weapon out of the four things that he has made since release, keep in mind. And, I mean, it's alright, but now the weapon sucks and nobody even uses it, okay? And then if you compare that to even someone like Josh, okay? Josh is just, he was just a commission person for the longest time, okay? Josh himself made Light, made Yin, made a bunch of other stuff. Nova too, he made Balance, Duality, like a bunch of stuff. Just those two alone did way more than him. And they were sitting at like 1%, 2%, okay? While Cetro at one point had 26% of this game. And then they took out 10%. And then he gave away 2%. So for majority of this game's lifespan, I would say he had 14% for basically introducing one half-decent weapon, okay? So in my own opinion, I, if I see someone that revived the game, right? If I'm Dave in this situation, and I see someone, yes, he revived my game, but he's doing absolutely nothing for the game and kind of like running it into the ground right now saying that, oh, Hellverse won't release, blah, blah, like, no, bro. You're, like, making the game worse. I probably would have fired him, too, in that situation. Or at least lowered his percent by a decent margin, okay? 1% is crazy. But Cetro could have probably bargained up to 2-3%. to Instead, he decided to crash out and go on the interview with me. Now, from my point of view, bro, if you're in my shoes, you see a free bag. That video is at 100k views right now. Hey, what he wants to do with his future, that's on him. He wanted the interview, I did the interview, right? If he wants to risk losing all percentage for the game, that's on him. But I'm telling you, he 100%, if he was just nice to them and talked to them, he more than likely could have been bumped up to 2 to 3% and just would have been fine. If this game, like when Hellverse drops and they make like 500k in a month, if he had 3% of that, he would have been chilling. That would have been like 15k, maybe more, because they probably would have made more than 500k. But instead, what he decided to do was crash out, go on my interview, and now he he has no chance of doing that. So, I mean, that was his decision, right? But all I'm going to say, bro, is one decent weapon in the span of three months, because he was saying Dave didn't do anything, blah, blah, right? You have to realize, okay, Dave apparently has only done mobile and console. That mobile and console brought so many new players to the game. Keep in mind, when it was only PC, this game would peak at like 40k, right? Maybe peak at 40k. 
Now the game is like averaging 40k and I get screenshots every single day talking about mobile and console. And once when they add in the reworks for them and make them better, they will get even more players. I would say personally, mobile and console matters way more than three bad weapons and one decent one and some true bond ties we won't see for like two to three months. In my opinion, you guys might disagree with me, but that's just my own thoughts, right? So, and I probably would have fired Setro too. I'm not gonna lie, because he wasn't really, I mean, he was a manager, right? That's what his, his job was, to get people onto the dev team and basically to revive the game. And he did that well. I personally would have handed him 3%. I think 1% is a little bit crazy. And yeah, him paying his developers out of pocket, because that's probably the biggest thing people are complaining about is them paying him out of pocket. You guys have to realize, bro, he had... At one point, 26% of the game, okay? And he is the manager. Now, should the other developers have taken some money out of the group to pay them? Sure. But at the same time, right, when someone is doing no work for the game, they might as well be the one paying for people to do work because he was commissioning them to do the work for... He, like, he could have done the work himself, but instead he commissioned the people to do the work for him. So that was kind of his decision. He could have done the work, but instead he commissioned people. Now, yes, is it wrong? Sure. But at the end of the day, this is a business uh, for type soul. Like this was 100% a business decision. If you are having someone that is doing barely any work for the game for 14, 15, whatever percent. And then there's somebody like Tama that made all of ranked and made all of slots. Apparently, I believe that's what he made. He made the whole rank system. He's the one that updates the rank system all the time. Boom. And apparently he also made the slot system. But you have someone like that. That added one of the most important things to ever come to your game on 2%. But the guy that does nothing for the game basically. At least in the current moment. Because reviving the game only matters for the first month. Okay. After the first month, reviving the game is just like a title that you have. Okay. Because... A game can come back for a month, but what matters is keeping the players on the game, and Setro didn't really keep the players on the game. The people that made the game stay at its decent player count after it was revived was the people that he commissioned, like Tama, um, everybody else, basically. Josh, Nova, all of them. Those were the ones actually keeping the game alive, adding content that people genuinely enjoyed. Like, Duality alone from Nova probably like increase the game's player count by like 20k for like two weeks where setro most of his weapons and stuff that he added lowered the player count so in my own opinion i kind of agree with them um i probably would have fired setro too in my like i would have gave him three percent and honestly i feel like setro could have bargained for three percent but instead he decided to crash out and that was his own decision man i'm just the person in the middle if someone light Setro, one of the developers wants to say something like that and have their voice heard hey it's their future not mine right i get money from that and whatever happens to them happens to them bro that's that was really the only thing that i really cared about because at the end of the day like i said this is a business transaction right if that's what he wanted to do that's what he wanted to do i quite frankly don't care um i'm still banned from the discord even that man i don't really care about i'm unbanned in game like whatever my whole situation is my whole situation because dave versus Setro. i mean it sucks yeah you might think that is morally wrong but as far as a business goes it was probably the right decision to make if you have someone hogging well not really hogging he was like paying other people um but like just not hogging is not the right word i don't know why they said hogging but just having someone having that much percent and all that they did was really revive the game you know, they added some weapons, sure, but really all that he did was revive the game and do some very questionable nerfs, balancing, things like that. Because now apparently they're actually going to like really use the balance chat. Like I've heard Dave is actually like already in there adding new people and stuff like that. But like I said, this is all just speculation for now. We will see on Friday. Friday is the new update. That is when we will actually see. Now, as far as the two interviews go, the interviews that I did between Setro and the one that Josh did, in my opinion, Setro, yes, uh, was, like, not talking as confident or anything like that. Like, bro was sad. Let's be honest, bro was definitely sad. But at the same time, he did have proof, okay? At least he had proof. Where Josh was confident, he was talking fast, like, he sounded like he was talking 
facts, but at the same time, he had no proof. So I guess his proof will be on Friday. We will see how big the update is, and that's kind of when we'll see his proof. Because he said, with Satchel gone, we will be updating faster. The James player count should be going up. We should have way more content. All this, all that, right? But if the update on Friday sucks, then that means the future updates might suck too. So it kind of just depends, man. Um, but that's basically just my thoughts on this. In my own opinion, I would have gave Setro 3% for reviving the game. And just, he could have taken that, bro. He could have taken the 3% and lived happy. But instead, he had to argue for it. And now he's just 1%. So, I mean, hey. It is what it is, bro. At the end of the day, it's a business transaction. Nano was saying the same thing on his stream. Me and Nano basically have the same, uh, you know, agreement on this whole topic. Because that's kind of what it is, bro. That's uh, that's just how it is. That's how it has to be. That's how it will be. Because nothing's going to happen. Dave will stay as the owner. Um, or not owner, but basically the lead developer. That's just how it will be. Um, so, I mean, you guys can have your own thoughts inside the comments. If you made it this far, type. I don't fucking know. Just type something. I don't, like, just say you made it this far, I guess. But yeah, man. All I'm saying is Setro definitely either should have been doing more work or should have been paid less. And I feel like the developers, like, figured that out, man. If you, like, you're sitting there, you have someone that made ranked, you have someone that made, like, four or five abilities, like, every two weeks, three weeks, and you just have all these people that, like, have 2% and aren't really paid anything, and then you have one guy that's just telling them what to do because he's the manager. He tells them what to do. That's basically what's his job. That was Setro's job. That was basically his only job was to tell them what to work on. So he was really just like the director, right? Which, yes, the director is supposed to get majority pay. But, like, he wasn't even good at directing because he was hiding all the content that they were actually making. He was telling them to work on stuff and then he wasn't going to drop it until helpers. So he was basically just making them work for no reason. Like, he knows Hellverse isn't going to come out anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, man, that's just my opinion. That's my thoughts. You guys can feel free to leave your own thoughts inside the comments. Um, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. But yeah, see you guys inside the next one. Peace.